Alright, what is up Transformers fans? This is the video review of Transformers Prime First Edition Deluxe Class RC. Here she is in her vehicle mode, and I'll go ahead and take a look at her weapons first. They are, if I can pull them off, they've been on here for some time, so they're a bit stiff. Okay. You do get a set of twin battle blades, and they are, they're essentially the same thing, just mirrored one for each side and they are very detailed as you can see here I'll uh, zoom in on it as you can see very intricate very detailed the nice blue paint with the nice silver added down here at the bottom for the blade the underside is um, just this solid blue but you will notice two sets of pegs so that'll come in handy later and you do get two of these and they do store on RC I had them just, they kind of sit here on the side to make um, armor on the side here. Um, if you don't like that, you can take it off. Now, it does reveal some of her leg right here. But um, without those on, you are going to have to take advantage of this kickstand here. And, um, which it, the camera wasn't focusing. You are going to have to take advantage of this kickstand. When you have these on, you don't have to use a kickstand because they prop her up well enough. But when you don't have them on, you are going to have to use the kickstand. So, uh, RC's vehicle mode is a very stunning blue motorcycle. It is very large. Here is... Uh, I haven't reviewed him yet, but here, for scale, here's a Prid Deluxe figure. So this is a very large vehicle mode for a supposedly very small figure. So, there's that. And as a matter of fact... It almost looks, I'm going to bring her in later, but it almost looks as if, I was going to bring her in later, but now I thought of this idea. It almost looks as if the little RC can ride the big RC. The scales are about right, except her arms aren't long enough, but you get the idea. They're, it's a big bike. So, um, now with that out of the way... There is a lot of silver detailing up here on the top where the gas can is, some black down here in the middle where the seat's at. Uh, the wheels are painted. There's a, a blue rim on the inside. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me focus. There you can see the blue rim in there. You can see it. Um, silver um, disc brakes, silver on the tailpipes, some shiny pink detailing right here, and silver knee fins right here, but I'll get to those later. Both wheels do spin very well. Um, both, I'm very happy with both of the wheels. They, <clears throat> they're good. And then the the windshield and the lights are a translucent light blue. Nothing else, really. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just transform her. You want to flip the kickstand up. And then, luckily, she, you want to do her upper body first. So you take these side panels right here. I'm going to see if I can get a better angle. I wish the camera would autofocus, dadgummit. You just pull out at the sides here. And then, then you can bring the legs down and out. Um, flip the seat down. It clicks, and then you rotate the waist 180 degrees. Then what you want to do, now that these arms are out of the way, you want to take the front of the bike, and you want to split and pull those pieces out to the side. Then you want to lift the handlebars up and over and take the whole windshield section and push it forward. Then you can take the lights and push them out a little bit. You want to rotate the wheel 180 degrees. You can go ahead and come under here and the hands just fold down and then rotate 180 degrees around. So once again, the arms are double jointed up in here. They just come down and swivel 180 degrees. Then you can you take the whole front section here and this all just pulls back like so and it opens a cavity and you reach in there and you pull out her head and it's on this little groove that you want to just sit and work it over and this Autobot symbol sits right down over where that gas cap was then you take the wheel and you want to push it down in there to where it fits there's a little groove on her back I'm going to do that again there's that little groove right there and the wheel just sits right down in there then you take the windshield, rotate it around, flip the handlebars underneath, and then rotate the windshield down over that. Now that her upper body's done, well, uh, now that her back is done, 
you take these headlight panels and push them down and then bring them together to make her chest. Then you can take these side fins and rotate them up just a tad. Now you can do her legs. You just want to split them right down the middle. And then it's kind of intricate. You want to pull down. It uh, folds out to the side. Then the foot will click out. And then this wheel, it, it splits in half. The wheel splits in half. So you want to take the wheel and you want to line it up. And as you work it in here, you want to make it look like the wheel is inside of her leg. So you want the top of this wheel to be right here where the armor kind of reveals itself. So you just want to work it kind of down and around. So now it looks like the wheel is actually inside of her leg. So I'm going to do that again on this side. Pull the wheel up and out to the side. Then you can click the foot down. Then you just kind of want to hold the wheel. And as you work it down, there's a groove. You just got to find the right groove. And it won't work. It only fits into this groove. Like if I was to put it on any other groove, it wouldn't work. So it'll, it'll only seat right if it's on the right groove. And so that's the wheel like that. And then you can just straighten her up, bend the knees, uh, straighten out the, the body here. And uh, there's that. So there you have RC in her robot mode, and she looks very nice. She um, She's very detailed. She has lots of intricate parts that make her actually look like the show. I'm going to zoom in on her face real quick. Um, this is going to have to be a two-part video because the phone does not let me upload videos longer than a um, certain amount. But there's her head. As you can see, very cartoon accurate face. As a matter of fact... I don't know if they could have done anything better. She just she looks like she jumped right out of the show. So um so like I said, she just she's just so intricately detailed. And um so put her back here. Then her two weapons can come into play here. There's a multitude of things you can do with them. Well, actually two things you can do with them. You can either use the secondary set of pegs and plug them in on her leg for storage which doesn't look bad, or there's a little hole on the bottom of her forearm. You can just twist these right into, and now she's got her arm blades, and she's ready to slice up arachnid, because that's what she does with her arm blades. And if you want, you can put them both on her legs, but I, I tend to put them on her arms when I'm displaying her, because they just, they look better. She looks like she's ready to get in a fight and I'll cover her posability a little more after I take this uh, quick break but as you can see here um, she's very posable and uh, those blades look really good as accessories so moving on to uh, the details in robot mode the blades are exactly the same the only real details that get revealed for the robot mode are the arms and the thighs and the new collar neck piece thing that um, was hidden in with the head and the head was revealed as well but I already got to that so um, as you can see here there's this nice little collar with the Autobot logo on it and this middle section right here where the seat was which is right here this was um, this becomes her abdomen and so the arms are also revealed and they are just a straight back black plastic with um, no paint on them whatsoever. The same with the thighs. But as you can see the legs now look different than they were in vehicle mode. They actually, the foot's out and the wheel's there. So the legs look different than they were sticking out the underside of vehicle mode. And then I'm going to do a 360 turnaround. I feel like the lighting's not good in this video but I have all my lights on so I don't know what's going on. So I'll do a 360 turnaround. So there's that. And now on to her posability. Head-wise, she does have a full ball joint up at the top of the head, and even a forward-backward swivel at the base of the neck. Her shoulder is fully ball jointed, but it is restricted a little bit by this panel right here. She does have a double jointed elbow, which uh, swivels there. And I can also swivel there to give her the all the way elbow bendy thing. And then her hand is articulated, it swivels in and out. Uh, her lower waist is fully articulated. You have a full 360 swivel joint, 
a ball joint at the thigh and a swivel joint below that ball joint, a fully articulated knee, and the toe is not articulated because this locks into place and keeps it from going anywhere, but if you were to pop the wheel out of place, you could uh, click her toe back into a pointed position. But uh, if you, that's, that has to dismantle her leg structure by taking the wheel out of place, and I don't think anybody would want to do that. So, um, with that in mind, I feel like this video was a lot more streamlined than the Bumblebee, because I'm already almost done. And, um, so with that in mind, RC's a really good figure. I'm going to go ahead and compare her to the Cyberverse Legion class, though, because she's so big. This is how tall she is compared to a standard Cyberverse Legion. Okay. And now, I'm going to bring in Bumblebee to show the size between them. <clears throat> so, if I could just straighten him up, he was out of whack. So she is taller than Bumblebee, which is a... which is not right. She should be about a head shorter than Bumblebee. So, um, inaccurate there, but she is a motorcycle transformer is what we've come to expect from her. And, um, so other than that, that's what you're gonna expect from RC. So, um, with that in mind, she's a very good figure. I really enjoy having her in my collection. She's a great... she's one of the best first edition figures um, out of the lot, and overall, I just, I feel like if they would have worked on her scale a little bit more, if she was a scout class, perhaps this would be the perfect RC, but she's just, the colors are spot on, uh, the detail is spot on, if only she was just a little bit shorter, she would be the perfect RC, but, um, other than that, I wouldn't, for first edition coming back out with its second run, I would not hesitate to pick her up because she's a lot better than the Prid version that we got earlier this year. And, um, I don't know, it's just my thoughts on RC. She's a really good figure, very poseable, um, looks great with the other Prime figures. So, those are my thoughts. Thank you for viewing this video, and goodbye.